Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Uh, where Minna's explaining what's going on right now with her whole backstory and past and all that. So the hero was supposed to appear as a divine beast, and this we get a flashback here to where Link first got thrown into the Twilight, transformed into a wolf. And that's why when I found you, I thought I could use you, Link. So, I mean, this is going way back in the story from where Midna uh, first met us, and this is pretty much just uh, solidifying the fact that she's pretty much a completely different person uh, now than she was back whenever uh, she first met Link. Because you remember she was uh, kind of a jerk to us. Used, her for, used uh, us for her own needs and rode us around and taunted us all the time. But after witnessing the selfless lengths the Princess Zelda and you have gone to, your sacrifices, I now know in the bottom of my heart that I must save this world too. There is no other way. If we can just defeat Xanth, the curse on me will dissolve and we may be able to revive Zelda. Hey, that sounds like a plan. Let's go, Link, for Zelda, for all of this world. Okay. That's all the motivation I need. So we look forward onto our next destination as the sages have pretty much played their part now and just sort of fade off into the distance. Cool. So that's really all the introduction we're going to get. Um, we're actually standing right at the entrance to our next dungeon. Step on this little thing, some stairs appear, and we can enter. So uh, for the... What's kind of interesting about this is this is actually the very first time and the only time in the entire game where we're, um, where we're going is completely the Twilight Realm. Any other time we've been in the Twilight Realm, it's because it's been overlapped with our World of Light, but this is just purely the Palace of Twilight. This is just all Shadow Realm here, so uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, listen, Link, can I ask you one last selfish favor? Regardless of what my reasons may have been, I once abandoned this world. I left behind the Twilight, those who had followed me, who considered me their ruler. Even now, as they remain here, suffering, they believe that help will come for this world. But if they were to see that the only help for them was a hideous little imp, don't you think they'd feel let down? It's only for a little bit longer. Do you mind if I continue to hide as your shadow while you're in human form? Yeah, I guess. It's fine. Don't worry, Minna. All the crap you did to us is in the past. We're buddies now. Okay, so, uh... Wait, what are these things? Wait! This guy isn't an enemy, Link. They might look different, but they're inhabitants of this world. They're my people. Zant, how could he? Ooh, yeah. Got this big thing on their face. That's pretty much what Zant does to them. And they look pretty creepy. They don't look any, uh, any more uh, normal whenever you restore them to their normal forms, but <laughs> there you go. Okay, so uh, we're here in the middle. There's a pathway leading straight forward, but it's kind of blocked off by all this darkness stuff, so we can't really go that way. Uh, we can't head to the east because it's disconnected, as you can see on the map. So what we can do is take this little west bridge and go into this section over here. So let's go ahead and get on that. Uh, this first part's actually pretty linear. It's literally, like... <laughs> linear by definition. It's a straight line, so that's uh, that's helpful, I guess. Alright, so in here, pretty much about this entire place, we're going to be seeing like the, the Twilight versions of the enemies that we uh, face in the light world. So that's kind of cool that we get to see these guys again, I guess. They're kind of cool looking. And you may be able to see back there in the distance, there's actually a, a Zant mask back there who's shooting some red stuff at us. So we're obviously going to have to take care of that, too. Uh, move! Oh. <laughs> I was trying to put it away so I could just do the mortal draw on the uh, Zant mask and just kill it in one shot, but... Oh, there it is. Alright. So after we defeat the Zant mask, the chest appears. I kind of wish, like, the chest appearing animation would be a little bit different for this place. Like, it, it kind of looks like it's materializing out of the light, you know? But I think it'd be better if it sort of materialized out of the darkness in here. Like, maybe with those squares or something like that. Just to kind of make it more fitting to the place. Because it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of jarring to see uh, the, all the light around in the Palace of Twilight, so... Whatever, that's just my opinion, I guess. So we just head forward into the next room, and we're gonna... There's a bunch of shadow-looking stuff around. I don't think it's really healthy for us to go in there, but let's do it anyway. 
So when we do, we get transformed into a wolf, Min is going to explain. Link, be careful. This black fog is made up of shadow crystals created by Xanth. They blot out light. He's responsible for stealing the light from the spirits and turning your world into twilight. But he's not all powerful. We're prepared too. I can return you to your normal state whenever you need me, so don't worry. Okay, well that's reassuring. Uh, you probably want to use your senses in here in order to see better. And uh, what I like to do to take care of this mask is just do two charge attacks as a wolf. And that'll take it out pretty easily. So once we do that, not only one chest appears, but a second chest appears. <laughs> I think that's the first time that two chests have appeared at once because of just one action. Alright, so first things first, let's go back here and take care of that chest. Watch out for the squids that uh, pop down on you and try to ambush you. If you don't know those are coming, those can take a cheap shot at you. But it's only a quarter of a heart, so who really cares? So we open this chest on the side to receive the compass. Always nice to have. We don't usually get the compass before the dungeon map in this game, though. I guess that's... Uh, I don't... I don't that might be the first time we've got the compass first, not sure. I'm <laughs> I can't really think about it at this point. So then we open the other chest to receive another small key. So that's useful. And in order to continue forward, we need to hookshot again. Now, if we go over here, uh, we can see... If you look on the map, there's a treasure chest, uh, like, in the direction I'm facing. If you want, you can hookshot to here... Hook shot up to the ceiling, drop down, and get that chest. But all that chest contains is 100 rupees, and as I've said before, uh, rupees are useless at this point. So I don't really think it's worth taking the time to do it. We might as well just uh, continue on with the uh, actual dungeon. Alright, so we make our way in here. The door locks behind us. That's kind of an ominous sign. There's also something hidden, held in a hand there, some sort of <laughs> spherical object. So let's jump down here and check it out. I wonder what this thing could be. Oh, there's a barrier, and there's a barrier behind us. And it's Zant, but it's not really Zant, it's kind of like a, a crappy hologram of Zant. Looks like he's got a bad connection, he's kind of kind of staticky looking there. So basically, this is uh, sort of like the mini-boss. Uh, we're going to be fighting him again on the other side of this place. Uh, but really, all he does in this form is just, like, send a bunch of enemies to kill you. Uh, he'll do bad. Sometimes he'll do, like, the, the Deku Baba things. So, uh, but if you can get him fast enough, then he actually won't really be able to do anything to you in this form. He likes to teleport around a lot. Uh, which can make finding him a little bit difficult. But what I like to do is just kind of move in circles and move the camera with you. And hopefully you can spot him at just the right time. I don't think I'm going to get him in time. Nope, he got it off. Alright, so, ah, uh, just a bunch of squids. Spin attack would be nice. <laughs> there we go. You, you might have heard me rotating the control stick there. It's kind of loud on this controller, but... Alright, he's over here. Get him. Okay, well that works. I didn't get a combo in on him, but I at least stopped him from doing his attack. Hmm. Whoa. Alright, we got on this time for sure. There we go. That takes him out. So that's really not that difficult. Really, the hardest part is actually finding the guy, because he teleports around pretty quickly, and it's a large room. So just make sure you're always looking in as many directions as you can. So once we do the, once we've finished off the battle, he explodes into these black things. We don't want to run in there because we'll be transformed into a wolf. It's just quicker to go around it. And we want to get this little sphere thing. So what is this? That shining sphere illuminates this world. It's called a soul. It's like the sun of your world, but in Spanish. The power of the soul is the source of life in this world. It's pure power. Ah, as long as you have this. Would you take this soul to the twilight, the entrance to this world? Please, Link. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so in order to get it out, we're going to have to hit it with the sword to make the hand drop it. And then we can pick it up. So this is basically like the light in the darkness. And whenever we run up to these dark shadow cloud things, they disappear. But what's this? The hand is coming to life. It wants its soul back. So that's basically, this is as close as we're going to get to a, like a wall master. Uh, and all it really does is go after the soul. So, uh, we set it in that little hole there in order to, uh, make these stairs appear. I kind of want to take care of these things so they don't bug me while I'm hookshotting, but whatever. 
Okay, so then we want to reach down with the claw shot and grab the soul before the hand does. And then we could just go through this door. And once we get on the other side, I'm going to be cutting off the video. So in the next part, we'll continue on through uh, the Palace of Twilight. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.